We begin this afternoon with breaking news. A judge striking down Michigan's 1931 law banning abortion in our state. That law has been at the center of the fight over abortion rights in Michigan ever since the Supreme Court overturned Roe v. Wade. So joining us now to break all this down is 7 Action News reporter Mike Duffy. And Mike, first of all, talk us through what this means and how we got here. Well, Glenda, I've been pouring through the document, this ruling from the state court of claims. It's 39 pages, but it boils down to this. A court of claims judge says that the 1931 law is unconstitutional. Judge Elizabeth Gleischer writing, quote, a law denying safe, routine medical care not only denies women of their ability to control their bodies and lives, it denies them of their dignity. Michigan's constitution forbids this violation of due process. So, Mike, what was, does this mean going forward? I mean, is that the final word on the legality of abortion in Michigan? Glenda, far from it, actually. I spoke with a legal expert who tells me that he doesn't think this would hold up in a conservative court, but he thinks in this court it just might. Regardless, it's likely to be appealed. As you can imagine, there's also been swift reaction from people on both sides of the debate. I spoke with Genevieve Marnon, legislative director with Right to Life Michigan, who tells me she's embarrassed for Judge Gleischer. I mean, she tried this once before, it was appealed, the Court of Appeals said, no, you don't have the right to enjoin the prosecutors, and yet here she is trying another bite at the apple. Do you think that this will stick? I hope not. I mean, the Court of Appeals has already ruled a couple of times now, one, that she does not have the right to enjoin prosecutors. And then secondly, of course, we have the Mahaffey versus Attorney General case from 97 that says there's no right to abortion found in the Michigan Constitution. So she's completely beyond her ability to do what she's doing. And of course, I also reached out to a couple of pro-choice activists, but they did not get back to me in time for an interview for this piece. However, to, however, Governor Gretchen Whitmer did release a statement saying that she has been fighting to protect abortion rights and that she is, quote, grateful for today's lower court ruling declaring our extreme 1931 law unconstitutional. Michigan Attorney General Dana Nessel saying, quote, abortion is essential health care and this order ensures access to reproductive care for all Michigan women. Well, one question, Mike, people still have. What effect does this have on the ballot proposal? Yeah, these are very easily confused, but there are two entirely separate issues, both playing out around the Supreme Court about the same time. The proposed amendment would enshrine the right to abortion and contraception in the state constitution, but the state board of canvassers deadlocked last week over moving forward. So the decision is now up to the Michigan Supreme Court, but they haven't said if they'll take this case and they will need to make a decision by Friday. Now, if they allow the proposal, it will then be on the November ballot for voters to decide. Glenda. All right. So much to sort out going forward, Mike, but we appreciate the update. Thank you. And you can read the ruling itself. We do have it posted for you on our website, WXYZ.com.